This is a bodysuit that I ordered off of AliExpress.com a couple months back. This suit is actually a really good morph suit with a great texture and feel to it. The only problem I had was recently the back zipper broke and refused to be fixed after I tried doing so. So I added Velcro to hold the back together instead of having a broken zipper. Just from this personal experience, it would basically tell me and hopefully tell you that I really wouldn't buy from AliExpress again, even though the morph suit was good. The zipper broke on just an easy movement with my brother trying to zip me up in my morph suit. Just my personal opinion, but I really wouldn't buy from AliExpress again. Now to move on to the refurbished mask that I personally do not remember which website I bought off of, so I'm sorry about that. This mask right here has a kind of like a thin texture around the eyes, and obviously as you can see, the lenses are very thin. So what I did was I flattened out one of the sides of the mask, took a piece of paper, and roughly drew the shape of the eye until I got the shape correct. As you can see, this template wasn't really that good, so put it off to the side, made a new one. This one was getting better, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted. So then I made a final one, which was actually my best one, so that's the one I will be using to remake the black eye texture. I even made the template just a little bit bigger than this big one because what I'm going to do is actually take it and fold it just a little bit like this so you get this nice folded edge but I actually drawn on the rough side this is not the side that I'm going to put on this mask I'm going to put this side on the mask you want to wipe off all the leather in case any dust is on it and everything and then this side is the side that will be showing instead of this black on the mask so I'm gonna cut that out now now to wrap around on both sides I mean up here and down here on the eye with this leather what you want to do is just cut a small slit going down into this point. A small, small slit. So you can fold this way, like so. You can have that edge. And then this way, like so. So it would both be folded down. After carefully using hot glue to glue down the leather patch, turn the mask inside out and use an X-Acto knife or scissor to cut out the lens. So you don't cut through the whole mask when trying to cut out the eye lens, you can put a piece of thick plastic and or foam on the inside to help you. If you're worried about keeping the mask steady for whatever reason with the different layers, you can actually use safety pins if you want to. Just a quick view of the mask so far. Right now, I am actually gluing the white lenses replacements on the inside of the mask. It's just fairly simple, just gl literally just glue it with some hot glue. The lenses, I'm using this window mesh, like the, the screening that you see in windows. I spray painted it white and I am double layering it by folding it over and gluing the fold down so it stays and I'm just gluing it on the inside of the mask and then the mask will be done. So this is the final Deadpool mask with the leather all hooked on pretty nice and the lens is looking amazing. There's nothing much to it, just a normal mask with the new lenses and new black leather. This is the fully finished Deadpool mask for the Deadpool and mask and body 
suit video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's been a video. Hope you have a nice day. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching.